Clarins are always useful in the party. Usually, a good party would always include a powerful cleric. Depending on how you build it, clerics can also be a tank, a melee combatant, aside from casting divine spells. Hello guys, Genuine Gaming here, and here is a beginner's guide to the cleric class. Role Clerics often prove themselves as a stalwart and capable competence. Their strength lies in their capability to draw upon the power of their deities, whether to increase their own and their allies' prowess in battle, to vex their foes with divine magic, or to lend healing to companions in need. They have high fortitude and will saves but low on reflex saves. Their class skills are Knowledge Arcana, Knowledge World, Persuasion, and Lore Religion. Their primary stat would be Wisdom for more effective divine spells, but I would suggest to put some more points on Strength or Dexterity so that they can do other things than casting spells. Progression The main feature of this class is that they have Channel Energy, Domain Selection, and full divine spells up to level 9 spells. And if you combine it with Angel Mythic Spellbook, it could reach up to level 10. They also have spontaneous healing wherein they can cast cure spells in exchange for a spell. They are proficient with all simple weapons, light armor, medium armor, and shields, except tower shields. They are also proficient with the favorite weapon of their deities. Channel energy allows the clerics to increase a wave of energy by channeling the power of their faith through their holy symbol. This energy can be used to cause or heal damage depending on the type of energy channeled and the creatures targeted. The amount of damage dealt or healed is equal to 1d6 points plus 1d6 for every two clerics levels beyond first. Creatures that take damage will receive a will save to half the damage. Domain selection allows the clerics to perform their values and how others see them. They are also able to choose domains from among those belonging their deity. Each domain grants a number of domain powers, dependent upon the level of their divine caster. Depending on a domain, they will gain greater domain power as they level up. Cleric Archetypes Angel Fire Apostle These clerics use the power of good to avoid violence when possible and cleanse both maladies and evil creatures with blinding flames. They are not proficient with medium armor, and they have a diminished spell casting, in exchange of course with extra channel and versatile healing channel. It is similar to channel energy with additional effects depending on their cleric level. Crusader These clerics serve as the militant arm of a church. They are ready to stand guard over the religion's holy places to be its swift, avenging arm against those who resist its truth. They gain additional Crusader bonus feet, but having only one domain selection. Demon Bane Priest These clerics learn battlefield tactics to take advantage of the weakness of demons. They have heavy armor proficiency, demonic knowledge feet, and bonus teamwork feet, which can also be exchanged with spell penetration or greater spell penetration feet. All these abilities in exchange of diminished spell casting. Ecclesiotheurge these clerics rely more on the strength of their faith than the strength of their armor. They focus more on the power of their deity than their physical strength. They are proficient with a few select weapon plus the favored weapon of their deity, and they are not proficient with any shield. However, they gain blessing of the faithful and domain mastery. Herald Caller These clerics are adept at calling powerful outsiders to aid their brethren in battle. They are dedicated summoners who depends on summoned allies to overcome their foes. They choose only one domain and they do not have proficiency with medium armor and shields. With dedicated summoner, they can summon more powerful allies as they progress in level. Priest of Balance These clerics do not give preference to either side and can compensate both types of energy in themselves to become priests of balance. They have both channel negative and positive energy. They have energy equilibrium wherein the clerics cast positive channel energy or cure wound spell. They strengthen the next negative channel energy or inflict wound spell. Similarly, that if they cast negative channel energy or inflict wound spell, they strengthen their next positive channel energy or cure wound spell. It would improve as the cleric progresses in level. Conclusion Clerics are always useful in a party. Usually, a good party would always include a powerful cleric. 
Depending on how you build it, clerics can also be a tank, a melee competent, aside from casting divine spells. A good cleric for me is a cleric that can cast divine spells at the same time he or she could also tank. That is why the Crusader archetype is a good choice for this type of clerics. But if you focus on casting spells, Ecclius Thurge is for you. Angel Fire Apostles are powerful channel energy casters. Herald Caller are powerful summoners. Demon Bane Priest can gain more teamwork feat or spell penetration or greater spell penetration feat. Priest of Balance can cast both channel positive and negative energy. All the cleric archetypes are good choices as long as you stay focused on your build. So that's it about guys. I hope you find the video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like to let me know. And if you want more Pathfinder Rite of the Righteous video, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Ciao!